Hot take, non-conference play in college football is the best time of the year. There's been so much beef all offseason. Teams talking about how we're the best. Teams talking about how, no, my conference is better than yours. SEC over Big Ten. It is so much fun. And it's genuinely like putting on a blindfold and throwing it at a dartboard because there is so much uncertainty and it is so fun to watch it all play out on the field. Teams that are overrated get exposed. Teams that were slept on get to show out and finally have a chance to shine. And that's exactly what we're talking about today the top five non-conference games of 2024 i'm excited it's january and i'm already ready i know you guys are ready let's get into it this list is mostly subjective so go in the comments right now and let me know which games you guys are circling and that intrigue you if you're new make sure to subscribe for more top five videos like this i'm saturday shenanigans and i post bangers all off season three videos a week if you haven't seen the other top fives make sure to go check out the playlist link in the description here is the poll that i gave to you guys on screen so i still will be doing the the top five teams that'll be my next top five and as far as the ryan day slander i kind of have to be in a mood i have to be in a bad mood today i'm just chilling it's a casual tuesday so i couldn't just go on camera and yap for 10 minutes but that'll come soon guys don't worry i'm also leaving my instagram on screen if you want to get to know me a little more make sure to dm me feel free to ask me any question i love interacting with you guys without further ado let's get started at number five we have nc state versus Tennessee. It's going to be a neutral site in Charlotte, North Carolina. I love this game because these teams are very close to being elite in their conferences in the ACC and the SEC respectively. However, they're not there, meaning they have a lot to prove. This game's most likely going to be a top 25 matchup. Of course, NC State's not on the same level as Clemson or Florida State, and Tennessee hasn't been on the same level as Alabama or Georgia. So th these teams are going to be hungry. It's going to be great on the field. Tennessee is actually a legitimate dark course everyone's talking about Tennessee their new quarterback Nico I can't pronounce his last name it's almost impossible I'm just going to throw it up on screen but that guy is insane his film is just ridiculous this game is going to be a showdown next up at number four we have Clemson versus Georgia this is going to be a kickoff game in Atlanta neutral site but it's not really Georgia fans are going to absolutely swarm that one pretty much a home game for them but the reason why I'm not putting this higher on my list because these are two of the premier programs in college football is that we need to get real guys it's georgia they won 29 straight until that loss against alabama they are probably going to win by two touchdowns clemson had their worst season in a decade last year so this does mean a lot for clemson and Dabo sweeney he needs to prove himself as a coach that can coach in the new era of college football there's been a lot of talk swirling about that clemson somehow pulls this off that would be a historic game for Dabo sweeney to start the season at number three we have two teams that are very similar and have a lot of questions going into the 2024 season. It's LSU, who didn't know how to play defense last year, against USC, who also didn't know how to play defense last year. This game's going to be in Vegas. Ooh, I might go to this one. I want to go to Vegas. Anyways, they're both losing their top quarterbacks to the NFL. Jaden Daniels, Heisman winner, JD5. Also, Caleb Williams, the most likely number one overall pick. So who's going to fill these voids at quarterback? We don't know yet. And also, how are these teams going to improve on defense? Because if they don't improve on defense there is no way USC is even coming close to winning the Big Ten and same thing for LSU in that loaded SEC there's a lot to learn in this game I'm super excited I wouldn't be mad if it was a 56 55 showdown but we'll see how it turns out before we get into the top two let's get into the honorable mentions this first honorable mention is very interesting it's actually two games but it involves the same team it's Tulane versus Kansas State and Tulane versus Oklahoma Tulane playing a Big 12 opponent and an SEC opponent. This game's huge because a lot of people think Tulane is going to win the group of five or win the American and become the group of five representative for the college football playoff. Now, if they find a way to win one or two of these games, this could drastically improve their seed. I'm serious, guys. If they can find a way to beat Oklahoma on the road and then win the American, they will have great positioning in the college football playoff. Now, I'm not saying they're going to easily make the college football playoff. There are still other great group of five teams. There's Boise State, there's Memphis. But as of now, these are going to be two very important games for Tulane to show that they can compete at the highest level. Next up are two rivalry games. First of all, Colorado versus Nebraska. How good is Colorado going to be? Make sure to check out that full video I made last time. And also Miami versus Florida. I love this rivalry. There is hatred, ACC, SEC. Both of these games are going to be extremely fun. And we don't know much about these teams. Florida needs to have a great year next year. Billy Napier has not been doing his thing. Two horrid seasons for the 
Gators. And also with Miami, is Cristobal going to be able to live up to the hype? He has not been able to do it within his first three years. And I'm excited because both of these teams have a lot to prove. And as far as Colorado versus Nebraska, I mean, come on now. Nebraska with Matt Rule, they did a lot better last year than what their record said at five and seven. I think they're going to be improved. That's going to be an extremely fun one in Lincoln as well. Coming in at number two, we have Alabama versus Wisconsin in Camp Randall Stadium. This one's going to be a banger, guys. If Nick Saban would have stayed, I wouldn't have put this game so high on the list. Maybe it would have been number five. Maybe it would have been an honorable mention. But Kalen DeBoer has a lot to prove. There are very mixed feelings about Alabama right now. They are losing a lot in the portal. They are losing a lot of commits through decommitments. Are they going to be as good as they were last year? This game means a lot. It is on the road. I know Wisconsin's not a world-class team. They're going to be better with another year under Luke Fickle. I expect this team to have eight to 10 wins. They were expected to be very good last year. They weren't. Things didn't turn out great. But again, this team will bounce back. This is going to be a close game. Can Wisconsin actually be the team that everyone thought? And is Alabama going to fall off? These are some questions that will be answered in this game. Let's go. At number one, it's not a shock to many of you guys who have already checked the schedule. It is two teams that made the last four team playoff in 2023. It's Texas versus Michigan in the big house in Ann Arbor and this one's just going to be amazing. It is almost for sure going to be a top 10 matchup regardless of what happens to Jim Harbaugh if he goes to the Chargers or not. Michigan's still returning a lot. They are going to be top 10 and Texas maybe even top 5 for the Longhorns. Sark is building something wild right now with the transfer portal with the recruits because if these teams don't end up winning their conference and they don't get the auto bid this game's going to hold a lot of weight. It's not going to hold as much weight as it would have in the 14 playoff format. I mean obviously Obviously, we saw that with Alabama and Texas in 2023, but it is still a no doubt number one game in the non-conference this year. Thank you guys so much for reaching the end of the video. If you have any other top five ideas, go in the comments right now, leave them. Do you guys agree with my picks? And also, if you haven't watched all the top fives, link in the description, they're bangers. And also, I'm going to continue the series. I'm going to continue the face cam. It's all great. Don't worry. Top five surprise teams coming soon. Ryan Day slander might be coming as well. I got to get in a really bad mood. I'm going to need something bad to happen that day. Like I'm going to need to fail a test in college or something and just come back. Ryan D. Ryan D. I got to do something like that. Ah, did, I, did I just break your guys' ears? I don't know, but I was playing around. Oh, I'm hot, dude. This, this room gets really sweaty when I'm like, you know how locked in I, I get right now. And my, I have to close the window because if the windows open, there's too much added extra light that kind of messes it up. But Woo, I, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe so you never miss out on another great upload. Join the best family in college football. I'm Saturday Shenanigans, your home for unfiltered college football content, and I'll see you guys soon. How was that outro? That, that was good.